everybody. Once again, this is Fred Wankwa coming to you from our studios in Chicago with another edition of Bold Talk on Allen TV. And as usual, I like to say good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you, depending on where you are around the world. Nigerians, today I want to ask you, how does a crooked man who surrounds himself with crooked people at every level of his cabinet except for a few, and for most of the legislators which he has locked up, how does a man like that negotiate any agreement locally, continentally, or internationally? How does he negotiate any agreement in the interest of Nigerians. It's a miracle to me that this man remains the president of Nigeria. Folks, for those who don't understand Yoruba, what that conclusion said in a song is he's lying he's looking for money how else do you explain what's been going on in nigeria for nine months under bola Ahmed tinubu which president and let's be clear about it every nigerian president going back to 1960 has been rigged into office whether they were rigged into office by the british or rigged into office by powerful forces within Nigeria, they were rigged in. But every Nigerian president who has rigged their way into office went into office with some kind of pretense that they wanted to work for Nigeria. That hasn't been the case in the last eight, eight years and nine months under Buhari and Tinubu. And how else do you explain the chaos going on in Nigeria? The Naira on a free fall against the dollar. Kidnappers running wild are now bold enough to go into people's homes, kidnap them, take huge ransoms, and even kill some after the ransom is paid. <clears throat> How do you explain, explain a government that sits back and lets Fulani herdsmen ransack the South and the Middle Belt and do nothing about it? How else do you explain a government that has no clue what's going on that for the first time the Nigerian Naira is worth less than most of the countries in Africa? Nigerians are hungry. News reports are showing that war-torn Ukraine is sending food relief to Nigeria, and the government is not embarrassed about it. The only thing they do very well is to come out with bogus stories. It's a soundbite government. Beautiful sound bites, no action. How else do you explain it except that it's the only governments that work like this anywhere in the world are governments with two agendas or one of two agendas. One is to steal money. Don't give a damn what happens to the people. Two is to divide and conquer, whether it's with, re re whether it's with religious bigotry or ethnic bigotry. Folks, Nigeria is going downhill. If Nigerians don't fight, Bola Ahmed Tinubu doesn't care. The cronies around him don't care. It is Nigerians that are going to be spread across Africa and into the Mediterranean as refugees looking for somewhere to go. Where, where is the obedient movement? Where is the PDP opposition? <clears throat> Forget about Labour Party. That was a cooked up thing with one strong candidate emerging, but in terms of structure, Labour Party is no real opposition. But at least Peter B is a highly respected Nigerian, Labour Party or no Labour Party. 
Where is the opposition? Where, is the, where are the obedience? Where are the progressives? Where is the revolution? The power of the people cannot be less than the power of a crook. We the people, we the people of Nigeria can take our country back. If only we can unite and forget tribalism and bigotry and face the most critical thing facing Nigeria, which is a man who is, whose only intent is to steal everything he can steal worth anything. In the last few episodes, I brought you something about what Bola Ahmed Tinubu and his cronies have done with OPL 245, which is the biggest oil block in Nigeria that has been under dispute under so many presidents. A few weeks ago, Bola Ahmed Tinubu went to France not on official business, on personal business. And what he went to do in France was to resolve the dispute of OPL 245, the oil block. And when it's all said and done, that oil block is now controlled by his brother who runs um, Oando Oil Company. So what this man went to Asherok to do is to build up wealth beyond comprehension. And with all that wealth, if Nigerians let him sit there and succeed in doing that over the next four years, forget Nigeria. Nigeria is finished. To buttress that point and try to understand and comprehend what I'm trying to say here, listen to the commentary that the next narrator is going to tell you about the continued Bola Ahmed Tinubu involvement in corrupt practices to milk Nigeria and siphon funds. Transparency increases credibility and accountability for a lack of it often result in distrust and a deep sense of insecurity. How transparent is NNPC Limited? It'd be like saying that one week won't trouble for NNPC Limited these days. In the course of the week, after the federal government requested payment of proceeds from purchase of crude for local consumption directly to the Central Bank of Nigeria, the Limited Liability Company on its own came out again recently to say that after a careful review, it can no longer complete the legal merger of NNPC Retail Limited and OVH Energy Limited within the expected time frame for the merger. At least that's fair enough. Now, petitions are flying and people are asking questions. Who is OVH Energy Marketing Limited? I beg, since you they buy fuel for Nigeria, you don't hear of any filling station where they bear that name. Well, them say OVH Energy are operators of Wando filling station, which include a reception jetty with 240,000 metric tons monthly capacity, though, eight liquefied petroleum gas plant, three low bl blending plants, three aviation depot and 12 warehouses. The allegation be say NNPC paid a cash amounted to $325 million. That's 140 billion naira for the acquisition of Oando branded retail filling station managed by OVH. But some of the acquired assets are alleged not to belong fully to OVH. Them say, them say, oh, so OVH Energy only has about 94 filling stations and over 100 filling stations were leased. I beg, lawyers, I won't ask you now. Do you sell what you lease? Can you sell what you lease? Anyway, make with they peel the yams more small as they hot. Now, the shwa shwa inside the matter, we say, Noel Oil, Noel Oil Limited was registered and incorporated in Nigeria around February 2023. And within eight months, they bought OVH Energy free of charge. As there are no documents to show that money exchanged hand for the sale of OVH within a few weeks of that purchase, NMPC in October 2023 bought OVH Energy from Noe Oil for $140 billion. And the owners of Noe Oil also are alleged to be consultant to be NMPC. So the question now be say, OV, uh, Noe Oil bought OVH for free. And then NNPC bought it for 140 billion. 
the question who valued the company now the answer we see the way this money we see the here just like the 2.4 billion illegal obligation when people they collect for cbn until the cbn new cbn governor did a forensic audit now instead of nmpc limited running the business of ovh now ovh they run the business of nmpc retail as even mr stockman an expatriate and former executive officer of ovh energy emerge as the new managing director of nmpc retail oh boy things they happen for this country Shah. even though the merger has not been completed according to nmpc ovh is still trading in their name but he already running nmpc retail while collecting product in the name of ovh and spending proceeds from that transaction to run their own operation while sidelining nmpc staff saying the transaction had not been completed well some people don't petition house of representative for the matter but while they are waiting for investigation of the house committee i can tell you nothing will come out of the matter as the house of rep committee will just collect their own share and move on i have experienced these things that's why even though the nmpc is the only one importing pms that's fair and selling at 58 56 uh, 568 naira per liter in lagos and 617 naira in abuja per liter yet the marketers they sold to are selling at a margin of 15 naira, 17 naira or even 19 naira in some cases as nobody's asking question the cost of logistics cannot be more than 10 to 20 naira except someone in an npc they share the profit with the marketers another question why is it that since the time of mccanty barrow as gmd of nmpc to date that melekari is the is at the end of affair we can't account for how much we have spent so far in exploring oil in the chart basin what is the value of our collective fund that have been expended therein and what are the benefits and results are the financials in compliance with regulatory carbon energy policies in the country another question now that an npc is a private entity whose resources are boring are not subject to the scrutiny of the national assembly who is regulating an npc yes guys who is regulating an npc who is regulating the president who is regulating the courts who is reg regulating the legislature where are nigerians where are the obedience what's going on with pdp where is abubakar article where is the opposition politics in nigeria we are losing our country by the minute not by the day bola ahmed tinubu is running nigeria with impunity just the way he ran and destroyed lagos with a lot of white elephant projects that makes the cosmetics of Lagos look beautiful until you start <clears throat> inspecting the infrastructure in Lagos and going into the ghettos of Lagos that Bola Ahmed Tinubu has supervised for 24 years. Lagos is a ghetto. Nigeria is becoming a jungle. Nobody cares what's going on with the people. The herdsmen are running wild. Kidnappers are running wild. Nobody is regulating anything. The only thing the leaders we have at every level are concerned about is stealing, stealing, and siphoning funds away. This country is salvageable, but this country is not salvageable if an internationally reputed drug dealer is just going to come in an uneducated guy drug dealer is gonna come in with his cronies and the crooks he surrounds himself with and nigerians are scared to die nigeria is not gonna change unless nigerians stand up and fight for their country Ladies and gentlemen, once again, this is Fred Mwankwa coming to you from our studios in Chicago with another edition of Bull Talk on Allen TV. And until next time, good night and God bless. Oh, 
obinrin kigbe okunrin kigbe galoku donke gbe owo obinrin kigbe okunrin kigbe galoku donke gbe owo mo bere titi won ji se fun eni ami se ero lo npa o owo lo wa ye Yo, 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 yo,